This is a letter from Mary Bruner. Friday morning, I testified as a witness for Bobby. What I said at that time was the truth. Bobby did not stab and kill Gary, and neither did Charlie, Bruce, Sadie, or me. I can't say who did it, but I wasn't, it wasn't done by a member of the family. I wouldn't say who did it before, and when the police last December said Bobby was blaming the murder on me and threatened me with probation violation, a murder charge, and the loss of the baby. I was frightened and I put it on Bobby. Then I testified to the same things that were in the original statement because I was told I would be prosecuted if I didn't. The affidavit I made in May is true and I offered through Mr. Graves to take a lie detector test on this or be arrested immediately for murder. Bobby saw how some fears were rekindled by the judge's threats especially and also by what the lawyer told me about the charges of what of not going along with the court at this time it is obvious that the DA and the judge Keen are not interested in truth they want their conviction of Bobby and the only other person they would accept as the killer is Charlie they are not guilty and I am completely willing to take a lie detector test on this point at any time <laughs> Pardon me. I say hello again. Oh, hi. What's your comment after being arraigned on a charge of murder? Oh, I don't have one. Really? Are you frightened at all? Do you really know who did it? I uh, might say that, yeah. Uh -huh. Do you know the motive for it? Well, that's more than I want to get into. Uh-huh. Okay. You know now that you may never see your baby again, or at least for a long, long time. Does this have any effect on you? Of course it has an effect on me. Did you think about this before you made your latest move? Yes. Uh -huh. But you decided it was better to do it this way? That's right. Uh -huh. You're 26 years old, I believe. That's right. Uh -huh. Do you feel that your life has been wasted at all? you got to be kidding. 